top three reasons why I use industry compatible hotkeys and why maybe you should too. Reason number one, speed. Try this, start with a cube, tab into edit mode, hit one for verts. Select the vert, press G, then Z to move it up on the Z axis, then hit two for edges. Hit E to extrude an edge, pull an edge up, then hit number pad period to zoom in. How many times did you have to look at the keyboard? Now you might think this isn't all that much, and I agree, but if you're doing a 17 hour model or animation, each one of these look downs adds more time. It's not only bad UX to cross the keyboard like this, but it's also bad for productions. The more times you have to look away from the screen, the more of a chance you're gonna lose your train of thought. Reason number two, professional flexibility. Let's face it, if you're gonna work in a studio, chances are you're not gonna be using Blender. Now I'm not saying Blender isn't in studios, I've used Blender in studios, but you're most likely gonna be using Maya, Cinema 4D, Modo, or any of those various companies that actually like you can have service contracts with. All the other programs have similar patterns for the same basic commands like move, scale, rotate, zoom, and they're all right next to each other with the exception of move tool in Houdini, which is T. They're all pretty much the same for a good reason. The user experience is much better because the less you have to move around, the more focused you can stay with the work in hand. By having the same exact keys for the same exact functions that all of these programs share is just one less thing to worry about. Also, if you're a freelancer like me, sometimes you have to have a combination of different programs, you know, UDD and Maya, Cinema 4D and Houdini and all of these things. Switching back and forth between extremes on hotkey sets is just exhausting. Reason number three, Blender's keys have broken functionalities. Unless you're on a standard keyboard and mouse, you'll be fine. But if you're on a laptop or a swanky keyboard like me without a number pad, you're gonna run into some bad luck. Now I know what you're gonna say. You can click on the emulate number pad, but if you do that, you're gonna lose some functionality like hitting the numbers for the verse edges and the faces. Uh, not only that, but you still can't zoom in. So you'll wind up rewiring Blender's hotkeys anyway. So if you're going to wind up rewiring hotkeys because you don't have like just something simple as a number pad, then you might as well just use the industry keys. So what are the cons for using industry hotkeys? Well, the guys over at Blender, they understand that you wanted this US experience to travel you know, back and forth because of you know, clawing issues and stuff like that with the UX. So they give you the industry compatible hotkeys, but they didn't wrap all of Blender's functionality into it. Like there are functions in Blender that just aren't wrapped to any keybind. I don't, I'm not sure why they would do this, but here's a quick way to get around that. Either right click on the non binding key and just set it, or go to the preferences in Blender and copy the DNA from the Blender side and paste it in the compatible hotkey side. The other con is nobody does tutorials, so it's harder for noobs to learn things on industry compatible hotkeys. My rebuttal to this is you can just search, like if somebody says extrude, you can just search in the user preferences, what is extrude? Most of the keys are there, it's not that hard. You could also remember those hotkeys and look at other tutorials as well. So you can say, oh, how do I do this in Maya or Max or Moto or whatever, and chances are you're already going to know the hotkeys for the first basic stuff. So it's actually kind of like a step forward for learning in my opinion. The other rebuttal to this is me. I will always do industry compatible hockey. So no more of this, that, and the other thing. Like we can never find any industry tutorials. Just ask, I'll whip one up for you. It's no problem. I will be doing a whole series A to Z in Blender and how to work it, you know, and integrate it into After Effects and everything like that. Don't worry about that. Uh, I got you covered. So just drop me a line if there's something you want to learn. Hell, maybe I don't know it myself and I have to look it up. I'll even do that live stream for you if you want. Okay, so that's my top three reasons of why you should use an industry compatible keys and maybe you should too. Uh, I'll tell you, going back and forth from programs and stuff, it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. I know, you know, certain studios, they use the blend for artists and stuff like that. If, you, if that interests you, go check it out. I'll leave the link down below. Okay, so that's my case and I'm sticking to it. If you like what you see, like, sub, do all the things. Um, laters. I call it the blender hot key claw.